Hello and welcome our daily edition of WWE Rumors Roundup. We bring some important WWE stories, The Rock message to Roman Reigns, Hell in a Cell announcement, and more. Before we start the video, we request you to show your support to us with like, comment, share our video, and subscribe to our channel. And press the bell icon for video notification. So let's start the latest WWE news and updates. Number 6 is The Rock gives a message to Roman Reigns after Clash of Champions. At the Clash of Champion 2020, Roman Reigns successfully defends his Universal Championship against his cousin Jey Uso. Roman Reigns dominate over Jey Uso throughout the match. After the match, Roman Reigns posted one photo on Instagram of his Clash of Champions victory with the caption, Level Hashtag Tribal Chief Hashtag Wow Clash. Later The Rock noticed that Roman Reigns post and gives a reply to it. Here is The Rock's response. Same game, different levels. Same hell, different devils. Heard you two tore the house down. In the recent interview, The Rock gives a statement on possible facing Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 37. Here is The Rock's statement. Feels like the one that would make sense, right, would be Roman. In terms of box office draw, I know how that conversation goes. Listen, here's what we're thinking. Roman beats you now at this WrestleMania. But, listen, before you guys say anything. Then on the next one, that's when, but you know what the truth is, I would be honored not only to share the ring with Roman and to go back to the WWE. But of course, I would be honored to have him raise his hand in that one. Roman Reigns also responded to The Rock statement. Here is Roman Reigns' response. The Rock at WrestleMania. Jey Oso said WWE Clash, my responsibility is putting our family's name on top of the card and at the center of WWE Universe. So after seeing the latest reaction of The Rock on Roman Reigns' photo, now it's almost fixed that at WrestleMania 37 we witness one of the WWE matches of the decade The Rock vs. Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. Number 5 is Hell in a Cell 2020 announcement. During the Clash of Champions 2020 event, WWE makes official that their next pay-per-view is Hell in a Cell 2020 and it takes place on the 25th of October 2020 from Amway Center. As of now, no matches are announced yet for the pay-per-view. But soon WWE starts to add matches in the Hell in a Cell match card. As per the Sports Info Now's expert speculation Hell in a Cell match card looks like Drew McIntyre vs. Randy Orton Hell in a Cell match for WWE Championship Roman Reigns vs. Jeff Hardy for Universal Championship Bobby Lashley vs. Mustafa Ali for WWE United States Championship Sami Zayn vs. AJ Styles for Intercontinental Championship. Sheamus vs. Big E. Alistair Black vs. Kevin Owens. Asuka vs. Mandy Rose for Raw Women's Championship match. Bayley vs. Sasha Banks for SmackDown Women's Championship match. Seth Rollins vs. Murphy. King Corbin vs. Matt Riddle. Number 4 is why some superstars missed the Clash of Champions show. In the Clash of Champions pay-per-view, we see WWE made few changes in the match card at the last minute. Two matches were cancelled by WWE last moment, one is for a women's tag team championship match while the other is SmackDown women's championship match. WWE gives the reason that Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, and Nikki Cross are not medically cleared to compete on the Clash of Champions show. Now WWE Rumors and Spoilers 2020 stated that one of three removed superstars does not have COVID-19 concern. But maybe the other two group superstars concern with the same but there is no confirmed WWE news yet. Early WWE news updates suggested that all three superstars were in contact with that person who had COVID-19. So WWE wants to play safe and remove them from the card. Here are WWE latest news and rumors. Okay so, Nikki Cross and Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax were all called medically, they weren't medically cleared. That was the wording. Nia Jax got really mad about that by the way. The actual issue is that you know it's the COVID situation. I believe that I know at least one of the three, and I think two of the three do not have COVID, but they were in contact with someone who does. So, it might even be all three, but I know for sure one, and I think two. But, it's still part of the COVID, they were afraid of the COVID spread as they were in contact, so they were not allowed on the show. I don't know how all their healths are, but at least two or three are not as unhealthy as we speak. Hopefully, they do not get unhealthy. So that's the situation there. 
Nia Jax clears the air about her and Shayna Baszler's absence from Clash of Champions. After the WWE announcement of Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler cannot competing in the Clash of Champions event, Nia Jax looks unhappy backstage and it is shown on social media. One of Nia Jax's fans asked that whether she keeping well. So Nia replied and said that she is fine and she also gives some update over Shayna Baszler. Here are Nia Jax's words. Girl, I could not be better. I apologize that the announcement scared some, but all are great and healthy on my end and my tag partner's end as well, not that I speak for her, but I kind of just did. Number 3 is the initial finish of Raw Tag Team Championship for Clash of Champions revealed. The Street Profits successfully defends their titles at Clash of Champions 2020 pay-per-view against Andrade and Angel Garza but the match ending looks botched and wired which confused everyone. Later WWE updates confirm that it's Angel Garza's injury that forced the referee to end the match early. Even Angelo Dawkins and Andrade are not looked pleased with the referee's decision. Now WWE latest updates revealed that in the original finish of that match the Street Profits retaining their championships at Clash of Champions. Here are WWE Raw updates. Just so people know, the Street Profits were going to win this match. They were not going to change the title. The finish was not changed in that way. So, after all, that, like you put Angel and Andrade back together again, with no manager, they were still going to lose. Now WWE latest updates news stated about Angel Garza's injury. WWE report revealed that Angel Garza's injury is not much serious. There is on words on his current status but it may reveal the coming time. Here are spoilers for WWE. The first word heard was a torn quad which is not a good thing. There have been other talk that it might not be it might be a lesser injury, might not be a quad, might be a hip. So, I think in the morning we'll probably know more. You could work to a finish. The doctors were already on the ground working on Garza, you just keep the cameras away and, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the rush is when you have two healthy people working in the ring. Um, you know the refs always look bad in these situations. And also, the ref's supposed to call it as a shoot, and the guy kicks out, so if the guy kicks out, he shouldn't count to three. There is a real communication issue here. Number two is mystery superstar return to NXT revealed. Last week on the NXT show, WWE showed a vignette of a mystery superstar who makes his return on the black and gold brand. In that vignette the superstar walking through the warehouse with some old NXT memorabilia. That footage also includes some sort of voice. You can read that voice of the video. I'm not sure what happened. I helped create something out of my own blood. Years and years of dedication only to be taken over by favorite champions. These NXT championships have been in isolation for far too long. Now I've come back to take way is mine. That video ends with a superstar NXT championships glass cabinet with a sledgehammer. After that vignette few superstars have been speculated as mystery superstars like Samoa Joe, Bobby Roode, and Bo Dallas. But now the smart fans spotted something interesting and give a clue about the mystery superstar. He told that when the mystery superstar has shown first in the video, they removed some dust from one poster and shown that poster looks like the NXT TakeOver Orlando event where Andrade has shown up there in the right corner. So maybe that superstar could be Andrade or Aleister Black who makes NXT return just like Finn Balor did in the past. Number 1 is an important announcement made for WWE Women's Tag Team Titles. We knew that Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler did not compete in the Clash of Champions event because they are not medically cleared to compete according to WWE. Now WWE official gives some words on the future of the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship and Tag Team Division. WWE presenter and interviewer Kayla Braxton told from Raw backstage that Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler would defend their championships against the Riot squad whenever they clear to compete. Here is WWE's official statement in Kayla Braxton's words. Kayla Braxton here backstage at the WWE Thunderdome for Monday Night Raw with an update regarding the women's tag team division. Last night at Clash of Champions, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler were set to defend their women's tag team titles against the Riot squad, however, that did not happen. I can confirm that Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler will still defend those women's tag team titles against the Riot squad once they are medically cleared. So, what does this mean for the women's tag team division? Well, you will have to find out by tuning in tonight to Monday Night Raw on the USA Network.
WWE does not give any date or time that when this women's tag team championship match happens in the future. Maybe on one of the upcoming Raw episodes before the Hell in a Cell show or at Hell in a Cell 2020 pay-per-view. These are the whole WWE news, rumors, updates, and spoilers form the edition of WWE Rumor Roundup. Hope you all enjoy it. So see you guys in our next video of WWE Rumors Roundup Edition but before you leave please do like, subscribe, share, comment, and turn on notification of the video.